Joining us now, Republican Congressman from Illinois, Adam Kinzinger. Congressman, thanks so much for being with us. You the bet. president's speech yesterday, uh, moments ago, he said that no one in the world has ever seen anything like it ever before. That may be a bit hyperbolic, but he did lay down some new lines, some new strategies, as it were, uh, for the U.S. in dealing with some of these countries. This is what he said about the U.S. in terms of not lecturing countries. Watch. We are not here to lecture. We are not here to tell other people how to live, what to do, who to be, or how to worship. Instead, we are here to offer partnership based on shared interests and values. We are not here to lecture, not here to tell people how to live. Saudi Arabia, obviously a country where women can't vote in anywhere but local elections, where religious minorities can't worship out in the open. What's wrong with projecting American values overseas? What's wrong with telling them this is not how we would do things? I don't think there's anything wrong at all. In fact, I think it's great to do. I mean, this is, you know, when we talk about America's mission in the world and America's role, uh, you know, first and foremost, American interest is what has to play in our foreign policy, but we have to have a reason and a purpose for doing what we do. And for me, it's to shine a light of American values around billions of people desperate for what we have, frankly, for a taste of what we have. So I think addressing those issues hopefully that happen behind closed doors and kind of one-on-one -on -one meetings or will eventually i think right now the president's focus is on one major thing we have to defeat isis we have to defeat radical terrorism and frankly we have to fix the problem in syria and stabilize the middle east and i think so part of this speech was let's bring the the whole arab world together let's bring uh let's bring the muslim community together let's try to lead this coalition so we don't have to do this all ourselves we have willing partners and Saudi Arabia, etc. My hope is that you may have that near-term goal, which is the priority of yesterday's speech, but I hope in the long term we don't forget that, frankly, when you spread American values, and it takes a long time in some of these countries, but that's actually safer for us because people with our values are much less likely to engage in recruiting well, terrorists around the globe. Did you see that as a priority in the speech over the weekend? Oh, I didn't see that as a priority, no. I saw the priority in the speech was let's try to unite behind, let's defeat ISIS, let's, let's come together with what some people are calling kind of the Middle East NATO. That's what I think was the short-term kind of near-target priority. I'm hoping that in the long term we get back to addressing human rights and those issues. Now, I think it's important to keep in mind in Saudi Arabia, the Crown Prince has put out this fairly aggressive for Saudi Arabia a plan to try to you know, bring women back into society's fold, pull out of the oil industry specifically only the oil industry and, and, and diversify so we have to be encouraging of that but I hope that we do not abandon those principles because uh, it's very essential to our safety obviously Toby Keith you know gave an all-male you know concert over the weekend was part of that so you know aggressive for the crown prince by Saudi terms is not very aggressive at right. all uh, you know in global terms let me talk about what's going on here in the United States last week before the appointment of a special counsel on this show you came out and said you thought it was a good idea and that was a flip for you. Do you think this is now headed in the right direction? I do. Um, you know, look, one of the things I hope happens, and I, I'll say this to my friends on the right and to my friends on the left, we need to give this opportunity a chance to play out. You know, you have some on the left already saying a special counsel is not enough and had some call for impeachment, and some on my side saying, you know, this is a, a witch hunt. It's not a witch hunt. This is the American people deserve answer, whatever the answer is. We, we just want to know the truth. And, and this isn't about 2018. It's not about 2020. It's about faith in the institution and in democracy for the long term, for our kids Congress and grandkids. Congress Congressman, stand by for one moment because sure. we're seeing President Trump he's, here and the Israeli President Reuven Rivlin uh, poaching the lecterns. We're going to hear from them any second. Let's listen in.